saying? It was in it. Man. I'm over here about to make a little quick store run. And, uh, shit. It's been kind of slow with the gig work these last couple of days. I'm probably about to get up out of town in a minute. But, uh, it, you know, it's crazy that sometimes I be tripping out, like, <laughs> I could just turn on my phone and boom, start making money, you know? Like, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, I used to dream of shit like this. Like, I remember it was times where, you know, the, the hustle when I was young, I used to be in the streets hustling and shit. But, it, you know, it was times where it got slow and it was hot. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get caught and shit, so I kind of laid low. And it was times where money was like bad, right? And I was staying with my mom and shit. I was a youngster, you know, and she like, hey, you got to get a job, man. You have been here, like, you know, you got to pay some rent in this motherfucker. Like, and I'm like, you know, I had to get a job and shit. And, um, you know, it's, I used to pray for a way I can, like, make money by, because I used to see shit in the back of the newspaper, like, oh, make money by shopping or, <laughs> you know, mystery shopper or, you know what I mean? Make money just answering phone calls or data collect, data entry and all of this shit where I can make money from home or just do on my own. Like I used to want to do a newspaper delivery, but I didn't have the right, I didn't have the car and the insurance and all that shit at the time. I wanted to do gig type work, like not no, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't, I don't know, I guess I wasn't really that smart enough to come up with my own type shit. Like it was other people out there mowing lines and doing all type of shit. I, I just sold drugs, man. I don't know. But in my downtime, I would have to go get a little warehouse job or something just to stay afloat when I wasn't in the streets. And that's when I was like, damn, I wish it was another way I could make money. You know what I mean? Because I didn't like working at no damn warehouse and all of this shit. And so now, fast forward, it's like, damn, I'm just turning on my phone making money. I don't got to go sell drugs or, or, or do no other shit. And that shit is a real blessing, man, how technology is, came f far. But on the other hand, now I'm looking at it because, uh, honestly, I used to want to rap, you know what I'm saying? And now this is my thing where I feel like maybe technology got us trapped. Because when I was young, being a rapper was the shit. Because you can just, it was a way to get out the fucking struggle. Like, you could just honestly press up some CDs or some tapes and sell them out your trunk or your car or not even your trunk, just out your backpack or whatever. And people was actually buying music. Like, oh, yeah, I got $10 for that, $5. You know what I mean? You could actually sell hella shit every day, hella, hella shit every day and, and make a living. And it was, you know, it was people selling millions and shit like, you know, E-40s and C-Bows and the... You know, you got your... I'm from Northern California, so you know I'm naming people from California that was out the trunk. You know, Master P was out the trunk. These people that got rich selling music out the trunk. And it's like... The technology fucked that up. That That's, that's when I wanted to be a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? When I can press up some shit and sell it like it was drugs. You get what I'm saying? Like I can go press up, I can go buy copies of my music and actually have these physical copies and people will want to buy them. Like I'm slinging drugs or some shit. That's what had me intrigued about the rap game as a hustler. It wasn't just like, oh, I just want to be an MC and all that. I mean, I loved rapping, but that part was not the most thing for me. I loved the hustle in it. I looked up to the hustlers. Like E-40, he came up selling... Uh, music out of his trunk. Master P came up selling music out of his trunk. Sibo, uh, you know, Tupac's favorite rapper, Sibo. Uh, man. And that, that shit had me like, you know what? I could do this shit. So that's why I wanted to be a rapper growing up. But the technology fucked it up. When, when, when it all went to like MP3s and shit like that, and people was downloading music and they don't gotta buy it no more from the store and shit. Now people that went to streaming, now you got, you know, these platforms where you could just listen to music on demand. You don't got to spend a dollar to hear shit. 
that fucked the rap game up to me because not for everybody everybody some people love it probably i don't know but somebody like me who is a hustler i just didn't see how i can how i didn't see how, like now now it's all about popularity and that's not my thing like you know what i'm saying i didn't want to be the pop most popular guy that you know get all the streams and shit i don't like that i like being underground where like it's underground people who sold millions and they got an underground fan base a, a real fan base of underground fans that buy that shit you never would know who they are if you're not from where they from or you're not tapped in i like that type shit and that shit right there died out you know what i mean and that's where it fucked the uh the hustle up so that's what i feel technology got us trapped is because um it's certain shit that it changed up and you gotta catch up and i'm not saying this is such a bad thing but for people like me who come from a different era it's like you gotta learn a lot man you know what i mean and i'm talking about to like really get money off of the, this shit today you have to really learn a lot. And it takes a lot of time to learn hella shit that you need to learn. So it keeps you in the trap of doing the same shit over and over and over, trying to get results. When technology is advancing, 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 and if you're not fast enough, you're gonna get behind. Every year, it advances really fast and you could get left behind so fast. So that's where it keeps you having to stay up with the times because technology is just, right? Now AI, now we got AI, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now you got to learn AI and it's people that's like, hey, you better learn AI. But now it's people that's not listening. And that, it's, see, now I'm listening. See, before it was like, oh, you better learn uh, this social media. You better get on TikTok. You better do this. Uh, you know, you better start a YouTube channel. And my ass was just like, ah, eh, you know, I ain't, I ain't tripping on all that, you know. And what do you know? That shit took the fuck off, and you got people out here that got rich or just got some good money off of it. Came up, you know, built their brand, their businesses and shit. And and now you now the guy we trying to get on. Like, oh shit, I gotta get on this shit. But it's kind of too late for that that rush that that rush where you would have been on top. You missed it. But now you started, you just got to come from the ground up. It's still popping. But like people like Gary V, he was talking about it way back in like 2017 and shit like that to get on TikTok. You know what I mean? And it was like TikTok, like you would have been popping. You would have been the guy or the woman. You would have, your shit would have been, you would have got it because it wasn't no competition when he was saying that. That's my example. And now it's so much competition. It's hard to just, be up there I'm not saying it can't happen but it's gonna take a lot of work and you gotta work 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 while technology is just right now you gotta learn ai <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's so much shit you got you need a team right you need a team to actually win unless you're just about to be putting in so many hours and this is me ranting you know what i mean technology it got it's a good thing, but it did have well, me stuck, you know, for a long time trying to figure shit out while it's steady doing this. So, I mean, this is why I believe in buying courses, getting a mentor, you know, and stuff like that, because it keeps you up to speed and uh, keep you up with the times. But let me know what you think, man. Technology is crazy.